The former Metro officer who pled guilty to using excessive force is now saying, never mind. Richard Scavone has filed a motion to have his conviction overturned after having pleading guilty on a federal charge. Our Patrick Walker explains why. Scavone this week filed for what is known as a writ of habeas corpus, a motion that asked the judge to throw out his guilty plea. He was the first Metro officer to be charged using body camera evidence. Here's a look at some of that video. Scavone was in the process of arresting Amanda Ortiz, who he suspected was a prostitute back in 2015. You can see during the arrest, he hits her, slams her face on the hood of his patrol car, even pulls her hair in a contentious exchange. In this week's filing, Scavone cites four instances of ineffective counsel, saying his then attorneys failed to argue forcefully enough in favor of using an expert witness that would have testified that his, quote, use of force was justified. Scavone also says his attorneys failed to compel the government to hand over all evidence that would prove prosecutorial misconduct. He says his attorneys failed to challenge, quote, the government's grand jury abuse. And he says his attorneys withheld information about an offer to plead guilty with no jail time. Scavone addressed some of that with the I-team's Vanessa Murphy last summer after a hearing. There's selective, narrow video, but there's also admissions from a prostitute that admitted certain things that were ignored and covered up by the department. Scavone is currently serving a one-year prison sentence at a federal facility in New Jersey, which will be followed by a year of probation. Also as part of all of this, Amanda Ortiz reached a $200,000 settlement with Metro back in 2016. I'm Patrick Walker, 8 News Now.